Here is an application of limits at infinity. The question before us is, find the equation of horizontal asymptote for the function f of x equals to x divided by square root of x square plus 1. Now, what is a horizontal asymptote? Let's try to understand that and then we'll solve the question. Horizontal asymptote means behavior of the function near infinity, kind of. So it's like this. When x approaches negative infinity, what happens to the function? Does it approach one fixed value? If it does, then we have a horizontal asymptote, and the equation of horizontal asymptote will be f of x equals to l, or we can write y equals to l. We can also test on the other side, which is when x approaches positive infinity, what happens to the function? Does it approach a value? Let's say if it approaches a value k, then y equals to k is the equation of horizontal asymptote, right? So that is how we can find horizontal asymptote. So we can also say it's kind of end behavior, right? It's end behavior of a function. If it is approaching a value, then we say horizontal asymptote exists. And if it is not approaching a value, then it does not exist. Remember, 0 is also a value, right? So your function could approach x-axis. Now with that in mind, let's try to solve and find solution for the given problem. So the question is, f of x equals to x divided by square root of x squared plus 1. Let's try to simplify this first, and then we'll find limits as x approaches positive and negative infinity and try to get our answer. So f of x, I can write this as x over. Now within the square root, we have x squared plus 1. How about take factoring out x squared from this? If I factor out x squared, x squared divided by x squared is just the number 1. And what do I get there? I get 1 over x squared. This is what I get. Correct? Now, what is square root of x squared? That is a huge problem to be answered. I can write that as 1 over x over. Now, what do I get here? What is square root of x squared? Figure that out. Meanwhile, I'll write down this other factor inside the square root. So I have 1 plus 1 over x squared inside the square root. When I factor this out, bringing it out, x squared square root is, is it x? No, it is not. It is square root of x squared is absolute value of x. Ab square root always gives you a positive value. Do you understand? So it is absolute value of x. That's kind of critical to understand to solve this question. Okay. Now I do have a video which explains this part also in details. You can look into that also. You can search for square root of x squared and you'll find the answer. Well, so we kind of reduced or simplified our function a bit. Now let's try to understand and figure out its limits. When x is approaching infinity and when x is approaching negative infinity. Let's do both of them. So we have now limit of the function f of x, right? As x approaches, let's say, negative infinity. Then what happens to this function? As you know, absolute x function is defined like what? Absolute x is equal to x if x is greater than or equal to 0 and is equal to minus x if x is less than 0, right? So when you are approaching negative infinity, at that time, absolute x is negative of x. So what do we get here? So we get limit of this function as limit of x approaching minus infinity. The function becomes x over, this is minus x. Do you see that? Minus x. And here within square root, we get 1 plus 1 over x squared. Now, if x is very large, in that case, 1 over x squared will be 0, right? So you get square root 1 here, which is just the number 1. And we know 
x and x can be cancelled out. <coughs> so what do you get here? You get your answer as minus 1. Do you see that? This is what you get. When x approaches minus infinity, 1 over x is 0, right? So here you get 1 plus 0. And square root of 1 will be 1. And once they cancel out, you get 1 over minus 1, which is minus 1. So the limit is when you are approaching minus infinity, minus 1. So therefore, there is a horizontal asymptote. You are approaching a value of minus 1. Do you see that? How about limit of the function f of x when x approaches positive infinity? Now, in that case, your limit will be x approaching positive infinity. x value will be x in the numerator and absolute x will be positive x. Square root of 1 over x squared. Do you see that? Now, as x approaches infinity, 1 over x squared approaches 0. So, you have 1 over 0 within the square root, which is as good as 1. And here it is x over x, which gives us the answer as 1. Correct? So, when x approaches positive infinity, we have a horizontal asymptote. And this horizontal asymptote is y equals to 1. But we saw when x approaches negative infinity, we did have a horizontal asymptote. And that was, horizontal asymptote was y equals to minus 1. So we have two horizontal asymptotes here. One is y equals to minus 1 when the function is approaching minus infinity. And the other one is positive 1 when the function is approaching positive infinity. Do you see that? So the function will have two asymptotes. So the answer here is we have two asymptotes. And the asymptotes for us are, so the horizontal asymptotes are y equals to negative 1 and y equals to positive 1. Correct? That's how we are going to solve this question. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.